GMA News TV It's a free TV network in the Philippines from GMA Network, launched officially in February 28, 2011, replacing QTV, Channel V Philippines, EMC, and CityNet Television, which was launched in November 2005, December 1999, April 1999, and August 1995 respectively. It's very complicated if I discuss about Channel 11 and 27 as it is, like how did they acquire this channel, etc, etc. So now I'm going to talk about some of the boring details here, just a little bit of history. In August 1995, GMA Network launched its first ultra-high frequency channel through DWDV Channel 11 in Metro Manila called CityNet Television. The intention was to broadcast foreign TV shows and programs, particularly in the United States, including selected programs from Channel V International. But due to high programming cost and low ratings, CityNet Television was later rebranded into EMC, or Entertainment Music Channel, in April 1999. EMC has been and technically an independent station, in case you don't know. Not until December 1999, when GMA Network signed a contract with Star TV Network and leased the airtime to launch Channel V Philippines through EMC. This is music television, made Filipino by Filipinos. No holds barred, no limitations. Channel V Philippines. TV as you know it, just got its butt kicked. If you're confused with regards to True EMC, Channel V Philippines was owned and operated by EMC. Select international programs from Channel V was localized for Channel V Philippines, which was produced both by Star TV and GMA Network. But due to intense competition with MTV Philippines, which was at the time owned by Philippine Long Distance Telephone Company or PLDC, uh, sorry, I mean PLDT. And also when PLDT bought a controlling stake of GMA Network, it's a legal share of something, led Channel V Philippines to shut down in July 2001. By then, DWDV Channel 27 was left inactive until it became GMA 7's relay channel in 2004. Later in November 2005, DWDB became a repeater of DZOE Channel 11 when GMA Network partnered with Zoe Broadcasting Network in exchange for providing upgraded facilities to operate DZOE and to officially launch QTV or Quality Television. Primarily featured lifestyle-oriented programming aimed towards women and also features imported dramas and news via GMA News and Public Affairs. Then QTV was later renamed simply to Q on March 2007, on while Q is still operating, GMA News TV was already announced on February 7, 2011 as a replacement for Q. Alamin sa February 7, sa 24 horas. Q eventually discontinued on February 20, with only 8 days worth of preparation until the official launch of GMA News TV in February 28, 2011. GMA News TV, oras oras! Segway time! Ever since we had the ABS-CBN TV Plus unit, I haven't been exposed to any channels lately other than from ABS-CBN. And as far as the DTV's availability is concerned, specifically free channels, in our location which is Cagayan de Oro City, there's still no GMA channels available for DTV in our location yet. So that's my overall commentary and guys, this will be our new format for IDEN channel. The first part in the video is a boring, significant commentary, followed by our usual IDEN timeline or IDEN montage video. So here it is for GMA News TV. Enjoy! There's no stopping the new sound in town. Channel V Philippines is about to take the Pinoy music scene to the next level. This is music television. Made Filipino by Filipinos. No holds barred, no limitations. Channel V Philippines. TV as you know it just got its butt kicked.
ka, no? Oras oras may nagtatanong. Sino kayang nanalo? Ano? Ano na kaya nangyari sa petition namin? Saan ba napunta ang bondo? Kailan kaya magmumura ang LPG? Oras oras may naghahanap ng sagot. Paano maiiwasan ang dingge? Ano na nga ba ang dollar exchange rate ngayon? Kailan kaya itataas ang pasahe? Paano kaya ako aasenso? May desisyon na ba? Kaya oras-oras, may magbabalita sa inyo. Diniis na marami natin kumaya ang habang pila para sa pag-review sa esensya. GMA News TV. Oras-oras. Alam ko! More and more people are switching to new TV. GMA News TV, the Philippines' number one news channel. By the way, this is Carl Harrow and it's official. Iden Channel is now a commentary channel primarily focused for Idents and the usual Iden timeline or Iden montage, whatever you call it. I hope you like this first commentary video. YouTube gave me no choice but to follow them. That is to have significant commentary and hopefully be eligible for monetization again. But if you don't understand anything that I said in this video, well, I'm sorry, I cannot change my accent. I am Bisaya, I'm a bit fluent in English. English is very hard, okay, wrong grammar always. And don't worry, I'll add subtitles for every video. Apologies also if I sounded dull and lame for this video. I made a promise on my third channel that I will make another ident video before 2019 ends, so I hope you like it. And in my future videos, I've decided to add some significant commentary since YouTube did demanded it for me to be eligible for monetization again. Maybe I'll make a new video before 2019 ends. By the way, with this new format, regular weekly uploads will be suspended starting today or by the time I uploaded this video. Because unlike before where I only compile videos, a bit of research and voila, everything's good. Now everything should be written based on articles and my English is always broken so I have to adjust everything and revise everything. And my next video will be posted probably next year I'm not sure and also we're at 12.1 thousand subs already so thank you all for those who subscribe sorry I can say anything or like a message about it I'm not prepared because again everything's busy recently been employed to a certain company so but all I can say is thank you very much support the channel for us to continue this has been Carl Harrow for Iden channel thank you for watching <laughs>